But you guys, the cart. <laughs> There's still like two more rows of tops too. And it's gonna take me approximately six hours to sort this cart, so. Hey, so it's a uh, dollar Sunday. They have tags that are uh, $1 and they have 50% off tags as well. So there's two different tag sale colors. And this is like actually one of my favorite Goodwills to come to. I feel like I don't film here as often for some reason. Um, it's really packed. There's like, there's tons of stuff in here and I usually try to come on the dollar Sunday. So there's usually a lot of people as well. So maybe that's why I haven't filmed, but today's the day. So I'm excited to take you through. We're gonna look through like every section and uh, we're gonna start here in the dresses right now. Dang, this looks like a cute little um, like spring 90s dress, Ryan Michelle. But the material feels awful. Like it's so stretchy and it's not lined or anything. Like I'm just gonna leave it. So I found this, um, I think maybe a 70s dress or it's maybe a repro style. I'm not sure, but it's cute. And then this fun little 80s dress so far. Dresses are good. Ooh. This is a sale tag too. Here we go, here's a little 90s collared dress. I love the style, as you know, this is very wearable to me. And it's sweet, but you can style it in like a cool like 90s kind of grunge way with like Doc Martin boots, combat boots, whatever. Cute. Just a basic cotton dress with pockets, but it has this cute applique on the collar. Shenanigans. <laughs> I have three of these yellow floral. <laughs> I imagine this all came from the same closet. It's kind of a pretty just basic rayon dress. With purples and greens. Almost looks tie-dyed or something. Very layerable. <laughs> There's a couple fun dresses that I'm not gonna get but I gotta show you. This is like t-shirt dress with the shoes and perfumes and bags on it and it has pockets down here and it has this like pocket on the back <laughs> that's so funny it's like adorable i feel like i could see someone rocking that with sneakers and then this one too also like a similar vibe um the buttons are really fun it has fish and stars and cats and it's kind of like a cat tropical theme country wear casuals cotton linen dress, $19.99. But this one I am thinking about, it's black and brown, like a faux suede, and this is kind of just fun, almost like starburst pattern going down it. It's a 90s brand connected, or Y2K maybe. Just don't know about the sleeves. I don't know, that's a maybe. Okay, I did amazing in the dresses. I have a whole like, selection of vintage dresses, just vintage that I found. Let me show you. This is actually like a fully reversible dress. See that pattern on the inside? It's like a double lined situation. Really interesting. Thinking about that one. Vintage denim Lizwear button up. Yes. Cute. Oh, this one is probably not vintage, but it's really interesting. This ties around the back, snatch in the waist. Cool like stained glass pattern. Belong Genteel Light is the brand. I don't know anything about it, but I think the fabric is cool. Cute little vintage Eddie Bauer. Cute little vintage polka dot pleated dress. This one is like a handmade, but really nicely cut. Also probably not vintage, uh, no tag on this one, but it's a knit dress. It's amazing. Wow. Little Bill Blass denim button up. I'll probably leave that. I just feel like it's so specific, I don't know. 
And then there's this other little flannel button up. I'll probably grab that. Those are great for the winter. And then these are all $1. Oh. $1. This vintage dead stock, 90s halter dress. This vintage romper. Cute. Cute. Yeah, that's a lot. Um, and there's still like a formal dresses and nightgown section that I always like to look in. So let's check that out. Okay, so there's lots of sweet little nightgowns and PJ sets like this. Here. Um, I'm not really going for anything like that, but I did find this vintage black nightgown, which I think is really cool. It's a uh, vintage JC Penny, and then look at this little velvet set. I think that's so cool. I can't find any branding on that. It might be fast fashion, but like the cut of the top and then. Fun little blue velvet pants. I don't know. I'm gonna think about those. Last time I thrifted here, I wasn't filming, but I found a vintage Christian Dior robe. No such luck like quite like that today, but still, the cart's pretty full, and there's a million women's tops, so I think maybe I wanna skip over to the jackets and the men's stuff and skip around before I like dive into the big, big uh, women's top section. You know, I usually like to save that for last. This store, they have a lot of everything, but like they have a huge jacket section compared to a lot of stores. So let's look. you've been here a minute, you already know I'm a wannabe horse girl and this is, for me, an epic find. <laughs> so. <laughs> this little jacket with lighthouses all over it, that's adorable. Coastal grandma moment. I think this denim like chore coat with the corduroy collar and cuffs. I think that's so cute, but um, it does need like heavy duty cleaning. I'd probably throw it in my store and I have like a few denim pieces that have sat for a while. So I'm gonna leave this one, but it's cute. So these are like the warmer coats and they are 12 bucks. This is like a modern little cropped fur. There's a couple of like Y2K like Penny Lane style coats that are cute and then they have some nice wool coats that's a fun green one from Old Navy and there's this camel hair uh, Talbots one for 12 bucks. That's such a good deal like you would you know you could keep that coat forever. My houndstooth one. I just don't need anything like that but gosh they have some nice ones for 12 bucks. Curious about this one. Oh, whoa. there's two little plaid numbers there. Oops, I'll pick that up. Oh, there's a few plaid. Alfred Dunner, and it has the velvet collar. That's so cute. Plus size, too. And velvet buttons. Classic. Oh, look, a vintage Anne Klein. Wow, that's kind of ugly cool, in my opinion. The colorway is pretty wild. That's fun though, I want to try it on because I like the long cut of it. Alright, I'll pick that up. <laughs> That's a nice mustard yellow. I already have a blazer in that color. Leslie Faye. Oh, that's knit. Oh, that's precious. It's like a puff sleeve. I bet that was originally like part of a set. Okay, I might think about it because it's knit. I like that. Vintage. 
That's uh, Saks Fifth Avenue cardigan. For like five dollars. I like the colors in that. This is cute, but I can feel the material is just, it's not well made. There's a little vintage number. Whoa, a lot going on there. <laughs> mm -hmm. This little vintage Western studded button up. Looks like it's 70s to me. And it's on sale, yep. Vintage Sears uh, brown velvet blazer. Got some cool buttons too. Look at that. I really like the tag on this too. Peabody House. Okay, another blazer that I don't need, but I love this colorway. Celica brand. I also really like the fit. It's a 90s brand. Oof. Bingo. This is the type of thing I'm looking for right now. These tapestry jackets. Super cool. Ugly cool. <laughs> Alright, let's try some of these jackets because I can't keep them all. <laughs> This one's so fun with this t-shirt too. I'm not getting like a lighter. I got this some one? shoes. I got some shoes and I have to match that. Really? Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna get it. You should you should try it. Wasn't gonna come back out today, but here it is. I understand. That's how it is. That's, That's how it is. I went to church today, came home to and A dry cleaning ticket, thank goodness. <laughs> this is so stinking cute. There's um, a lot of some tricky stains on this collar, though. I'm just not sure if I want to take that on, but it is so cute. All right, well, I got a couple of jackets in the car that I'm excited about. Um, so we're by uh, the men's section and the bags. So let's do that and then we'll go to women's stop. Like this uh, corduroy button up. That's a nice one. 100% cotton. It's kind of a good vintage flannel in these uh, muted colors. This Cancun t-shirt with Speedy Gonzalez or like a Speedy Gonzalez ripoff. <laughs> I think that's fun. What happened to those dolphins? Showtime at your library. <laughs> Cute little hand painted t-shirt. It's Bob Ross, but a cat. I actually own this in gray already. <laughs> I'm always a sucker for the men's uh, pearl snap shirts. This one's kind of a nice colorway, just some neutrals. So I believe these are all individually priced now. They used to have flat rate. Let's see what we find. It's like a leather patchwork bag. Dolce Vita. Some goodies. $6.99. Look at this bag. It's just like all hardware. Oh, it's all buttons. Oh, I think that's kind of cute. Newport News. Uh, 10 bucks, but it, it might be on the tag sale. I think the bags are on the tag sale as well. Go with the tapestry jacket that I got. This vintage bag. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna look at that. 
Ooh, all right, I got a bag in the cart, so now let's go tackle the wind's tops, the big, big section in the store. We'll be fine. Okay, this is cute, but like the tag. <laughs> I love it. Yes. And then there's this fabulousness. <laughs> oh, and it's got little nautical, like, knot buttons. Maggie Sweet, plus size. And it's a half off tag. Hmm. Also, kind of like this sweater, like a good uh, chunky knit, oversized, vintage sweater. It just needs, like, a lot of love with a sweater shaver, but it might be worth it. It might clean up nice. Think about that. Wow, this blouse is some really cool details. Look at the collar, it has this like art deco uh, cutout. Uh, and puff sleeve, but the material, it's polyester and it's like super thin, scratchy. Oh snap, this little cotton Alfred Dunner flannel with hearts. <laughs> Sale tag, boom. <sighs> Yes. Ooh, that's silk. Look, that goes with the dress that we found. Little button up. Cute. I actually left the dress, so I'm gonna leave that too. <laughs> and this one goes with that other dress. <laughs> Ooh, that's really pretty, and it is dead stock Carol Little with the tag still attached. It's very nice. Oh, this is so good. It's adorable northern reflections but it's acrylic and wool together so it's like uh, it's my least favorite combo like i don't i would get it for my shop but i don't think i could sell it because the material just does not feel nice and that's probably what got donated too bad Woo! that's bright and fun but you guys the cart <laughs> Uh, there's still like two more rows of tops too. I told you there's so much. Um, and then it's gonna take me approximately six hours to sort this cart. So. I'm seeing a couple things down here that might be exciting. This sweater, yes. Yes! This was like exactly the type of thing I was manifesting today. This is exactly what I wanted to find was like cool 80s bold sweaters like this. Oh my god, yes. And then there's this red one behind it. Oh, that's a good just red cable knit maybe. All right. Wait, one more thing here. Oh my god. Yes, it's a cardigan. Okay, that's fun. We'll look at it better later. There's another silk Orvis blouse. Wow, so many silk blouses. Like, it's like 30% of my cart right now. <laughs> Just a little plain vintage crew neck. Great color. Hmm. Gucci. <laughs> Time to sort this mess. <sighs> okay, I honestly, I have so much that I'm first just gonna sort stuff by whatever's on sale.
Okay, so there's a ton of it that's on sale too. So I think what we do is go through and like pull easy yeses and easy nos and then deliberate. Just try to tell you like my sorting process, I guess. <laughs> Okay, I think I've decided. Um, I'm gonna leave these pieces. Um, this one's just a, too small. Um, this one I think is so cute and it's only a buck, but um, I don't know, I'm just kinda like shying away from that style. This one also is a little bit smaller size than I would hope. I picked out some other crew necks instead so these two didn't make the cut and then this one I think is so fun but it's kind of like a small polyester blouse and I don't know I just have too much like that this t-shirt is cute but just it's too sweet for me it would be something for my shop but it's full price and I don't know and then this one we know was kind of a rescue so I decided nah these are vintage Sears pajamas. I don't think I showed you yet, but they're so precious, but they are too small for me, in fact, so I'm gonna leave them. And then this didn't make the cut, unfortunately, and some of these other dresses just didn't make the cut because I ended up picking up so many, and um, these are all full price, so that ended up being a big deciding factor, I guess. But I have a cart full. I've done a lot of damage. And of course, as always, I'm gonna show you the haul of everything I did get and do a little try on and some styling with some of the pieces. So let's get into that next. All right, we are back. It's time to show you my big old haul from the sale day at that Goodwill in Holland. Such a fun thrift, such a great haul to share. So let's get into it. All right, you saw the jacket. You saw my face when I found the jacket. You know I'm excited about this one. Just a good, fun, unique Western wear slash horse girl dream piece. And I'm here for it. And I really don't think that the Western wear fashion trends are going anywhere anytime soon. So this is gonna be a fun one. I have been getting requests in my shop for tapestry style jackets and bags. This one falls under what I think could be described as ugly cool. Really nice earth tones though. It makes it kind of easy to style. So I paired it with some neutrals for my own wardrobe and I think someone's going to really love it. Fell in love with this cardigan instantly. This was exactly the type of vibe that I was trying to manifest at the thrift store. Fun, funky sweaters have been my go-to lately. This beautiful cardigan is a silk and cotton blend from Liz Claiborne. The colors are so bold. I went with a fun, bold styling just to try it, uh, but I did already sell this cardigan, so it went to a new home. So someone else will be styling this piece. I found two dead stock 90s Carol Little blouses, both still with the original tags, both originally priced at over $100. So this was an incredible find. I think this pattern mixed short sleeved blouse is really fun and there's a lot of different colors you can pull out with the styling. And then this other piece is a really great like workwear into evening peplum blouse because you could style it in a lot of different ways, both classic to funky. So someone's gonna have a lot of fun with those. Here we go always buy the sequins. This one really caught my eye because I love how the sequins are in a geometric print and I feel like that's not a pattern like way that I see as frequently. So this one was super fun. I got it right in the middle of winter so fun and festive for the season too. I found a number of silk blouses. It was the day for silk blouses. First, this 90s one with the leaf print. Absolutely gorgeous colorway. I wanted to bring out the autumnal kind of warm tones with the styling on it and have some fun with that. And then from the same brand, I got this polka dot pattern blouse. Again, 100% silk, a lot of fun colors in this one as well. So I'm just going to do a little bit of styling to bring in some edge with a colorful fur and leather, like adding in layers of texture is a really fun way to style a silk blouse. I've got this classic blue striped blouse. I wanted to go with a bright and happy kind of styling with a sort of monochrome blue and white look. And then I've got this floral printed 
Orvis brand silk blouse. This floral makes a great spring transitional piece, I think. And I was sort of inspired, like I could picture wearing this little outfit to a farmer's market in the spring when it starts warming up. It'd be so cute. Next, I've got this pastel toned Alfred Dunner flannel button up and you can see in the checker pattern there's little hearts which is what sold it for me super cute could be fun even for Valentine's Day but I just kind of went with a pastel styling I picked up both of these Y2K, 90s Y2K mesh tops with the fun collar. This this does look like that 90s does 70s kind of thing to me. The interesting thing with these is that they are zip up. They're not a button up. Um, and they are both like sheer mesh tops. So I went with a similar styling for both. I actually did a pair of shorts over tights and thought that kind of gave it again, like a fun 90s vibe, a little bit of pattern mixing. Like there's a lot of fun stuff styling options with those. Next, we have a fun 80s dress with this cool bold red and geometric pattern on it. And it's got pockets, which you know always excites me. These types of dresses, again, always just so wearable, lots of different styling you can do with them. Out of those uh, similar dresses that I found, I liked this cream colored floral the best and I even styled it for cooler weather by putting a sweater over it. So I think it has like some versatility beyond spring. Next, I've got some dresses that would not fit me. So I'll be just showing you on my mannequin, the flannel dress. I found this 90s dead stock uh, halter top dress with a cute ditzy floral. This is like a size small though, so it won't work for me. But all of these pieces are going to be ones that I will put in my shop. I've been showing them on my whatnot live sales. And then I also list items on Poshmark and Depop. So I'll have this Western kind of inspired dagger collar blouse and these uh, vintage nightgowns. This one still has the original tags and is a beautiful cotton gauzy nightgown. And then I also got that black one, which I was able to try on. This one was really cool because I think it can be worn actually as a regular dress if you layer it up a little bit. Uh, it's not super sheer. So there's some cool like whimsy goth styling options there. I had to get Speedy Gonzalez. I thought this one was really funny because he's actually drinking a bottle of tequila. <laughs> and I think there's some cool colors in it too. So I thought it'd be fun to style over that red dress and bring out some of the red in the t-shirt and then do like some fun boots and a leather jacket. Like, you know me, I can't go wrong with a classic graphic tee. I had to get Bring Me the Horizon because this was one that I knew would be requested by some of my customers who shop with me on Whatnot. So I sold that one. And then I also got that black, plain black crew neck. I think you saw in store. I'm wearing lots of crew neck. So this was just a classic that will go with a lot of things. And I also got this green one, which I styled over the other button up blouse. And then we have this 60s Talbot sweater with a Robin brand zipper. You don't see that very often. This is a cute classic piece. I thought it would be fun to layer it up very Gucci, um, but it's an amazing 60s vintage piece. You know, I was so excited about this sweater. This was like maybe my find of the day for my personal collection, because this is exactly the type of thing that I'm gravitating toward and trying to like manifest when I thrift lately. And the black and white is just a classic winner for me. I've got this short sleeve cotton knit with some pastel stripes. Absolutely perfect for the spring. I love styling these in like a casual kind of French girl chic way and they're really comfy and good for that like transitional weather. And then I got this kind of chunky knit red classic cotton sweater, just a good vintage basic. Style it with jeans and sneakers and you're good to go. And then same with this vintage like turquoise kind of cable knit sweater. This one I thought would be cute to style over that floral dress too because again that could make a really cute spring transitional look. And outfits like that are a good way to get more wear out of your dresses and your sweaters of course. And then lastly I did get that vintage candy dot bag. This one I believe is from the 60s and I already found it a good home with my friend Keely who collects these so such a fun piece. 
Well, thank you as always for thrifting with me. I hope you had fun today. I hope you have a great rest of your day today and week ahead. I will see you guys back here next week for a new video. Speaking of sweaters, I'm a, I'm a sweater. <laughs> Sweating right now. Okay. And f these teeny tiny tags. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Making me mad. My camera's brain hurts. Well, thanks again for thrifting with me. <clears throat> well, thank you as always for thrifting with me. I hope you enjoyed and and that you would do it again. <laughs> uh, and stuff. <sighs> what do I want to say? Um, wow, making words and talking is hard. Uh, okay, just end the video, just end it. It's over, the video's over. Bye, bye bye. Yeah, I'm done, that was so much. <laughs> that was a lot, a lot, a lot.